Jake doing his thing. Got that IH, got the fuel filters fixed up, the dirt out of the fuel lines and the fuel tank. Fix the steering, tighten up the steering, tighten up the front end. Drives great, he says. Sounds good. And he's almost done. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have pretty much reached the end of hay season here. I'm gonna be tending our fifth cutting alfalfa here. It is currently eight o'clock. Now, I didn't film any of me mowing. I had to mow Sunday afternoon. I don't prefer to mow Sunday because Sunday's our day of rest and I don't really like to work on Sundays, but sometimes you, you have to, depending on weather, windows and, and, and whatever else you have going on. And I had to work yesterday so wasn't able to mow yesterday so i did it sunday afternoon still got the tractor hooked up i'll get around to that eventually funny thing is i ran this thing out of diesel when i was mowing and uh yeah that was great especially on a sunday <clears throat> but ih did it right they made it really easy to bleed your line uh you open up your vent screw on your uh, filter here and then you just take your plunger and <laughs> until the fuel comes out without bubbles on your filter there easy as pie and then you give her some fuel and you crank her and fire her up so it wasn't that hard to get it back running and we got it running and i had like a couple passes left of mowing so anyway like i said we're at the end of hay season here i mowed fifth cutting of just the alfalfa we got the new seating here that we're not going to mow anymore this week looks to be like the last kind of warm week um, we got a real big cold front coming in here this weekend around thursday friday um, this cold front's going to bring in some rain. We're supposed to have highs in the low 70s and lows in the upper 40s, low 50s. So that's going to kind of be the end of hay season. Um, we don't have any really grass hay. Uh, well, I got a rented field that's grass hay, but I just mowed that last week. So that we probably won't mow that again. All the neighbors and custom work that I do probably won't do that again. No new seeding, and this will be the last of alfalfa. So... This is most likely the end of the season right here, the last hay that we're gonna make for the year. We made some pretty nice hay here. Um, I'm happy with it. We got some grass, some like grass hay and like first, second, third, fourth alfalfa there. This over here is hay that we made for our neighbors that got rained on and they didn't want it. So we bought it back from them and it's actually, it's steer hay is what it is. I mean, it looks absolutely disgusting, but I've actually been feeding some of these bales to the steers and they've been eating them. Like steers like just eat, anything so like i said i'm gonna go ted this and then throughout the week i'm gonna start chipping away cleaning up this equipment we'll start with the disc mine we'll go through and just blow it off pressure wash it i will probably even wash it with soap and water because i'm that kind of person
boys and girls, that is it. That's the last bailing for 2022 season. That, well, at least that I know of. Fifth cutting alfalfa. And to be honest, I don't know if it was really worth it or if it was the best idea. Uh, I don't even know how many bales I made. I should probably check. That's the wagon. And the stuff is really, really green. And the problem, it, I mean, it's damp. It's somewhat wet. I mean, the leaves itself are really, really nice, but all of these stems, or a lot of them, are still really waxy and tough. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I put plenty of Silo King on to make sure that, you know, it doesn't mold. They say you can bail up to 30% stuff with Silo King. I don't know if I would trust it that much. But, uh, they say 20%, you know, even 23, 24, 25%, you should be okay if you put enough on. So I really cranked her up because I knew, I, I was just, I suspected that it would be wet and that it would be damp. You know, this morning, like it cured for four days, but we're here in September. And the problem in September is, you know, days are shorter, um, really, really heavy dews. I mean, the last two weeks we have had super, super heavy dews every single day. So I, I, I mean, this hay got so much dew on it and it just wouldn't dry the best. And it didn't cure. These stems just didn't really want to cure. And it, had, and it had four days of cure. So it's tough to make dry alfalfa this late in the year. It's, it's September 21st today. That's pretty late for alfalfa. Luckily, I mean, I don't know if it was luckily. It wasn't a very thick crop. But if it was thicker, I probably would have tetted it again this morning. It's not the best idea you'd knock leaves off but i might might have been able to get it a little drier i don't know anyway i needed to make i think like 55 bales to break even you know to, to 55 bales would make it so that i wouldn't be losing money here we look 2531 obviously there's not that many bales but i gotta check with my counter to see I took a picture before, so I gotta see how many bales I made. Well, I did the math and I made 71 bales. So that was barely worth it for me. I mean, the last time I made this hay, fourth cutting was 222 bales. So 71 bales really wasn't that worth it. I don't, yeah. It, it, it was so, it's, just, it's, it's getting late in the year. There's less sunlight in the day. There's plenty of moisture, but there just wasn't much sunlight in the day. We were, I think I bailed fourth cutting August 23rd and today is September 21st. So it had not quite a month, but pretty close to a month. Yeah, did not really grow back that much. It just wasn't thick, but that's how it goes. Anyway, if you're interested in any fifth cutting, let me know. So that's all she wrote. I missed two bales, no, three bales, doggone it. I'll throw this one on and we'll get the rest with the four-wheeler.